usual starter uh, of most things, uh, Smash 4. So let's see how this goes, man. I'll, honestly, as of late, though, there's been a lot of shift to seeing Battlefield as a start, but you know, Smash was always the one true start. Now, uh, interesting enough, I want to exactly see how Zenodo handles dealing with uh, the pressure that Hugo puts on with these bombs and whatnot. He also has pressure at his... It's, oh, the double... Uh, <laughs> the double wave bounce right there to, uh, you know, mix up his landing. But yeah, man, should be interesting to see how he does this right here. He has a pressure as well with his banana. Let's see if he can get this in here. And he actually picks up the banana with that neutral air. I guess expecting him to jump out of that situation. But he uh, did not give him the jump that he was looking for. And I, th I, be I believe uh, Zenodo's probably going to try to employ basically the same strategy that I was talking about when it comes to dealing with the projectiles, right? Perfect shielding him. See? His perfect shields are really on point, and Zenodo loves to check his opponents with, like, down tilt. So walk up to them. Oh, okay. Ooh, that was okay. pretty slick. That looked planned. Yeah, the <laughs> footstool to uh, down, the footstool to bomb, and then he came down with the neutral air. Surprised he didn't come through with the down air, but, you know. Maybe the neutral air was going to lead to something better if he, uh, mm. at, at the percentage he's at. You notice how Zenodo tossed the banana way far, uh, in, like, in anticipation of where Hugo might land? Mm -hmm. Well, we we'll probably might not see another situation that recreates that. Oh, but the banana! Getting rid of the, the final ender right there in the combo. Oh, nice stuff right there with the, uh, uh what's that, what's that, banana to four, uh, four air? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Very nice right there by, uh, Zenodo. Getting so, himself on the board first. Okay, okay Zenodo. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Some different options being shown here. And, you know, when you, when you think of Zenodo, uh, uh, you know he's an amazing player. He's one of the original Diddy's. He used to play Diddy and Brawl. And what I, I loved most about him was that even after the nerf, when everybody decided to jump ship, he was still there. Mm -hmm. He had faith. I mean, you got to believe sometimes, man. Before you decide to jump ship, man, explore some options. Uh, as you can see, Diddy Kong still has great uh, kill potential, uh, kill setups. Uh, maybe not as easy as up throw up air or down throw up air, but, mm -hmm. you know. You still, get him, you still get him to a certain percent and then finish him just like that. Mm -hmm. Banana. Char uh, about a half charge F smash, taking stocks like that. Yep. I mean, there are, of course, a lot of great ditties, right? You look at Nitono, you have MVD, Zero, even, but Zenodo right now, he's the one that is here. He is making it happen. That nice little charge right there just to ensure the KO. And now we're going to move on to game two here in the set. Um, back to Smashville. These guys want to change stages. Huga. I like Huga's platform usage at times when you saw that Zenodo had a banana in hand. Let's see. He probably might even just hang out on the platforms to toss bombs. Yeah, litter the stage with projectiles. I see you. Yeah, do what you need to do, man. Oh, but whiffing these tethers, man, that's going to hurt you. Okay. Uh -oh. Kicking that man off that uh, platform right there. Not allowing him any access to that platform or, or stage, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yo, I mean, Zenodo's been doing a really good job of just chasing him down, too. Not allowing him uh, to set up as much as you've seen in other matches. I mean, he still gets his chance. still man managed to get space every now and then. But look at the way he's staying on top of him. He pulled a bomb, got punished for it. You know? Uh, Zenodo, obviously having a, a little, a little insight on this matchup. Maybe he's been watching. I don't know if he's uh, got a lot of chillings to play, but at the very least, he's been watching. Ooh. <clears throat> There's a banana again. Let's see. How's he gonna gonna be able to stop this guy? Cause he's so mobile too with the Diddy. Nice. Waited for the grab first. I wonder what he grabbed there. That was a pretty far grab. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, indeed. Anyway. Right now. Okay. <laughs> Zanetto, Zanetto uh, slowly pulling away from uh, Hugo right here. 91% to 18. Hmm. Almost had a reverse percentages if he had one more percent. That would have been dope. 91 to 19. Anyway. Oh, okay. Expecting a roll one, maybe? Probably. Hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, that would have been a smart option to cover. I thought he was actually going to just Z-drop it in front of him, possibly uh, try to catch him after that with uh, up air or something. Nah, we're oh. not getting those. <laughs> Good try. Zanetto was like definitely not about to air dodge down in this situation. Air dodge is right there, though. Mixing up his uh, air dodge landing is very smart. Do I smell an up smash? Yep. There it is after the banana toss. Yep. That's really good. Go for the, uh, the he goes for the up throw. If he can't quite reach with the up air, he'll try to cover your landing with a banana toss up smash, or sometimes even rob smash if he can't get a, a banana in time. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> English. Can, if he can't get <laughs> 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 this, this language ain't easy, man. <laughs> All right, so now once again we have uh, Zenodo ahead of Huga right here. Uh, Huga, you know, we've got him at a decent percent right here though. I mean, maybe a nice. Oh, okay, we get all that damage right there. Very smart, but maybe a nice little confirm. Wow, I, I really thought he was gonna get another confirm off that because of an, uh, the uh, boomerang hit. 
Yeah, but right there we see the monkey flip kick just to get out of that situation. Oh boy. And again, the drift right there, you saw him. He doesn't want to deal with the up air. He's trying to maintain the lead. But here comes Yuga. He's tossing all these projectiles. And I like going for the platform just to get a free uh, bomb pole. That way he doesn't have to worry about getting counterattacked. Oh, this is hard. Okay, he waited to the very last second. That was smart. Waited to the very last second and then tossed the bomb to make his landing safer. I see you, Hugo. I see you, man. I see you. We watch him. That's all I'm uh -oh. saying. All right, he's probably looking for a setup to maybe get rid of Zenodo quickly or just work his way up. But it's looking difficult, man. I feel like we might need to see some jank from Hugo. Indeed. Up. Oh. He can just force Diddy off stage. But it's not quite happening here. Definitely not getting him anywhere to go. I mean, like, or any chance to actually uh, force him off stage right here. Yo. Yuga just literally staying on the uh, main platform. He's got, he had his Noto, or he had uh, Yuga was just surfing on the uh, the structure platform because the Noto was just holding down the, the bottom side. Oh, oh if he would have dropped the up air, bro. That would have been hype. Oh, yeah. He would have been able to actually get that KO, probably. Oh, but right there, sitting on the edge. Tough situation this for Zenodo. So dangerous. Yeah, he had to get his feet back on the ground. Oh, I thought he was going to chase that up for an up smash. Right now, okay. Yuga, like, almost like trying to trick Zenodo into uh, committing to something crazy and then body in a four. At this point, to oh! Uh, launching him up that time. Oh, wait. Okay, that was the Yuga that actually flew up there. Oh, so late on the punish. He has to respect the bomb. The wow! Just ran up and did it, but not enough. Okay. Smart. Might as well go back into Banana Pole. And he gets the, the jump option covered from the edge with the back air. And now we have one game for Zenodo to win to push Hyuga into a fifth place finish. All right, Zenodo. That's about to be a hashtag. All right, Zenodo. <laughs> was that what you guys were saying a little, uh, like all day? Yeah, man, basically. <laughs> man, has been doing work. It's like, all right, Zenodo, I see you. All right, man, end of game three right here. Staying on Smashville, Hugo Zenodo once again. Uh, Diddy, Toon Lake, and right now Zenodo uh, not even allowing Hugo to get a point just yet. Hugo hopefully got a couple of adjustments right here. Now, I don't want to count him out at all because Hugo's definitely made a, a three stock or a reverse 3 0 comebacks before. So, true, true. Definitely don't want to count him out. But Zenodo just plays so patient. Look at that. Just keeping him in check with these down tilts again. And his fair calls have been on point too, which allowed him to force Zenodo off stage that other time when it was like high percentage situation. True. Again, fair so so good at getting the knockback just to push your opponent off stage and then force them into a situation where they get scared and probably might want to burn their jump early or recover low. Regardless, you're you're in a good position whenever you just like knock your opponent off stage like that. Uh oh, here it is. Okay, here we go. Adding some extra damage right here. The oh, yeah. air dodge destroyer once again with the up air. Yeah, that up air is so active. <laughs> Man, huh? that, that up air be doing CrossFit. Anyway, Ooh, there it is again. Okay. That Definitely. active. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Oh, he had the right idea, but there was a double jump right there. Hugo? Yes. Good call. Good call. All right, so the for the first time, Hugo actually takes stock before Zenodo right there. Very smart. He's been. Uh, maybe I, I feel like Hugo actually does a lot of three game conditioning, uh, where you know he definitely does some stuff that he didn't do in the first few games that are now catching uh Zenodo off guard. Uh huh. And just like that, man, a clean forty seven percent. Yeah. Still not adding anything on this second stock yet. Dude, this is definitely Hugo's game right here. He got all those up tilts. He kept catching uh, uh landings with up smash over and over again. Zenodo finally able to tr well almost eighty two percent after all these juggles from Hugo. How are we going to see Zenodo be able to bring it back? We're going to have to probably see more situations where the man whips a grab True. so Zenodo can make it happen. All right. Here comes the projectiles. Oh, the double grab. re grabbed it like, yo, I'm not going to I'm not gonna waste bombs, man. Oof. Times is hard out here for these bombs. And that monkey flip to fair. The common setup to, just to take a lot of stage presence. Uh-oh. He's just going for that push. Nice. Again. Oh man, this is this is tough. Diddy's so good at just forcing people to the edge, and you see that. Yeah, Hugo did not want to get caught by a banana while he was landing, but you can't stay in the air forever. He definitely needed the air dodge. I don't think he was going to die, but he still managed the air dodge and not take the damage from his own bomb. Oh, so he's holding it. He's waiting. Banana toss. Oh, Hugo, you're brave because you could have got banana tossed at you. Okay, 
Zenodo's shield is not looking the best. That shield is so small. KO! Okay. Alright, so I'm really liking uh, Zenodo's or Hugo's up air placements right here in that last match. He got so many up airs right there. Just adding, racking up that damage right there. So he managed to take himself a game. Is this going to be the start of his comeback, or was uh, did Zenodo just have one chink in the armor and he's about to go ahead and close it out right now? Going to go ahead and find out in this game four. I mean, you definitely said that. This guy is just not a stranger to making comebacks. So, you know, you might be right. I definitely don't want to count him out at all. Right back in it, man. We are right back on Smashville. No switches. Player versus player, basically. That's all we get. Uh-oh. Here come the chases, man. Ooh, covering the fair approach with that up-angled boomerang toss. True. Okay, okay. Oh, managed to get behind them just in time for that uh, for that boomerang that to not hit him. Uh, allow him to get that free grab. Looking for the up air. Managed to land safely, though. Yeah, I like the setup whenever he whips the grab and it has the boomerang out. But if you roll behind him, you don't really have to worry about the setup because uh, the boomerang is going to hit from behind, you know what I'm saying, man? Yeah. True, true, true. Here we go. Got the uh, <clears throat> got the monkey flip right there. Woo, that was clean. And getting out of that situation real quick and getting a, a nice punish, yeah, with the uh, down throw of the banana to the back here. So, I mean, he's doing quite well in this uh, round. As we said earlier, man, the way Hugo's playing in, in game three, I mean, you just kind of tell, like, that should have been this game. Like, he was playing so dominant. But right now, Zenodo is the one playing with the true dominance, not allowing Zenodo to get uh, anything started for himself. I mean, he's got 43%, but it's all, like, tick hits, basically. Mm -hmm. A few hits here and there. Got, got a pretty big combo right there. 20% uh, added. But Zenodo not quite getting any punishes on Hugo's rolls. Every time he tries, he's a little bit too late. Ooh. He's doing a good job of just... Not quite getting caught by bomb to conversion, though. Like, a lot of these players that we saw playing, Hugo would get caught by that. Instead, Hugo has to keep forcing Zenodo into the air, then he'll just chase him. Ah, there's another roll that couldn't quite get punished. It's really difficult. Definitely difficult right now. Okay, nice Zaire right there, sending him back. Holding this stage uh, control. Wow, my man was able to block quickly after that uh, boomerang toss. <clears throat> yeah, that move doesn't have that much uh, uh, ending lag. Right? Has a, lot, a decent amount of starting lag, but... Not ending. Yo, real rap with him holding that bomb like that. I, I was kind of expecting Zenodo to just charge the F smash on right? him. Right? Break that shield. Yeah. Break that shield or shield poke, one or the other. Mm. Woo! He drifted out. He had to. <laughs> he had to. He's air dodges, man. Okay, I was about to say, I don't know if back throw could even do it from across the stage. I expected forward, but good try by Hugo. I mean, if you look at his rage. Yeah. Yeah. Also, that was pretty good DI right there from Zenodo to make sure he didn't uh, DI too far to the top and possibly lose the stock there. I don't think he would have either. Ah. But he actually DI'd for the right because he was so far to the left. He was mm -hmm. like, I'm good. Nice. Just going straight to the edge. Trying to reset. But Hugo, man, he's so good at just catching people in the air. Solid up smash. And now we're down to one stock apiece with Zenodo at point game. I mean, it's very interesting, though, because, like, I feel like whenever he goes to that up smash, uh -huh. uh, like, he kind of, so he hasn't done this, uh, well, he's done it before, but, like, he hasn't done it uh, too much to make it a real factor, but uh, he rolls behind you and then grabs, right? Uh-huh. Um, so the up smash will literally cover someone trying to jump away from the grab, and that's why he keeps getting so many of them. So it's, once again, another conditioning thing that he might be doing right here uh, in this setup, or in this set. Oh, Zenodo just too dominant. Gets another banana, trying to see if he can just close this out. What are we going to see? Banana toss, down tilt to forward smash or up smash? No. Oh. Just Nothing. waiting for his opportunity. We got, yeah, he definitely got banana to toss right there. But banana actually getting beat out by bombs right here. So that could be a, somewhat of a problem in this matchup for him uh, later, you know, just later on. But either way, oh, oh. Okay, he gets the trip, but that banana helped out. Uh, the bomb helped out so much. Okay. Oh, With the monkey uh, command grab, but. Trying to recover. Managed to get it. Ooh, it looked like he was ready for the roll, but kind of missed it. Oh. Oh. He almost had that back throw. He needed it. Okay. So Nodo's going to have to be careful. He got a little bit too antsy when you saw Hugo go towards the platform. He has to land. He actually managed to get the forward air out. That was super nice right there. I mean, what an aggressive option to do that as well. I mean, Hugo's probably expecting a uh, air dodge or something like that from the pressure that he's put on earlier. And he was like, nah, man, I'm coming through aggressive. I need to get oh. back to the stage right now. Whew. Just 178%. Hugo almost got that. 
There we oh. go. You heard the bomb pull, right? He pulled the bomb, and right there, Zanotto said, you are not safe. Pushing this man, Huga, to fifth place. Okay. With a 